Right, um, we're going to talk today about GHRP6, growth hormone releasing peptide 6. It is a growth hormone secretu. Uh, basically what this does is it triggers the release of your own growth hormone production. It pulses it. Um, not to be confused with GHRH, growth hormone releasing hormone, uh, which is stuff like uh, CJC, sorry, CJC1295 without DAC. Um, these, in layman terms, putting it quite simply, GHRP will pulse growth, a GHRH will disperse that growth into your system. Uh, the two together have a very strong synergistic effect. Uh, and effectively, you could re you could reduce your GHRP dosages by about 50% if you run with GHRP. Now, there's a whole family of GHRPs. Um, the strongest on the list is um, hexarelin. However, the problem with this stuff is it can cause desensitization. Now, GHRP6 is a 28 amino chain. It's a hexapeptide. <laughs> Next one down the list is GHRP2. Um, to be quite honest, we don't know about desensitization with this. We do know it can cause some prolactin side effects, and hexarelin definitely does. And then we have GHRP6. So it's the third in the list uh, from a strength point of view, but one of its advantages is it does not cause desensitization. So apart from wasting the actual product, you could mega dose this stuff and it wouldn't have a negative impact on your growth hormone release or your sensitivity to growth hormone. Uh, the other advantage with six is that it has an impact on adrenaline. Um, now, as we spoke about in MK677, which is um, another oral uh, GH releaser, uh, as 6 affects grindling, it affects appetite, so you will get hungry with 6. Um, and that's worth bearing in mind as well that this is an injectable freeze-dried powder. You resolve it with um, peristaltic water, uh, and it is an injectable. It needs to be refrigerated. It doesn't have the best of lives outside of refrigeration. Oh, excuse me. Um... Now, general dosage protocols would be to take this three times a day. It can be more, uh, but it would need to be taken clear of food. Glucose will blunt its efficiency. However, if you take it with IGF-1, it will boost its efficiency. General dosing protocols usually call for three injections of around 100 micrograms per time, though 200 is quite common as well, and you can go more frequent on the dosing if you require like MK, it will increase lead tissue, it will improve sleep, but there's no real evidence to show a reduction in body fat. There is a reduction in body fat percentage because you increase lean muscle tissue. Uh, but most will report better sleep quality, better recovery from using a GHRP. And as I said earlier, if you combine it with something like CJ1295 without DAC, then you're going to get a lot more bang for your buck and you're effectively going to double its effectiveness. Excuse me. So that is uh, about it. I must apologize. Um, if you've watched the update video, you'll realize that I've had sepsemia brought on by some medication for my kidneys, and I've not been a well bunny. I'm still recovering, and I still feel a little bit shitty. <laughs> But I wanted to get this done because I'm taking a weekend away and this will be scheduled to go up on Monday. So I will have time to do it on Monday. So there you go. That's GHRP6. Um, we'll look at GHRP2 next time, which is its stronger cousin. It's a, a third generation growth hormone secretary. Uh, more potent. Uh, doesn't have the other had a benefit or depending on your state um, a disadvantage of stimulating appetite um, and then we'll look at the powerful one hexarelin and then we'll go from there okay so I'll just keep working through the peptides till they're all done thank you very much take care and speak to you soon